To start our hull, we started out with a SolidWorks CAD model and then had it 3D foam printed. Next, we put fiberglass and fairing filler and epoxy over this model. We then pulled a mold off of this model. After we looked over our mold, we put several coats of wax on it to ensure that the part would be released from the mold after curing. We can then start our Vardum process, or the Vacuum Assisted Resin Transfer Method. This object on the right is called a resin trap. The device is used to prevent epoxy from being sucked up into the vacuum line and ruining your vacuum line. We then wipe down the mold with a mold release agent and start setting up our inlet tubes. The tubes on the side of the boat are the inlet tubes for epoxy. We used five inlets per side to help the epoxy flow throughout the whole mold. We used T connectors to connect the tubes across from each other to ensure that both sides would flow at the same time. We then put yellow rope inside the inlet tubes to prevent them from being closed off when vacuum is pulled. Next we start putting materials into the boat. This first layer of carbon fiber is one of the most important layers. We had to make sure that all the fibers were lined up to create a nice finish on the final part. We even taped down the layer to prevent the carbon fiber from sliding or slipping. We then put in a second layer of carbon fiber and some vertical and horizontal supports. The white layer that we put in next is called Aromat. This is a type of distribution media and is used to help epoxy flow throughout the whole entire part and also add strength. We finish by putting two more layers of carbon fiber in and another layer, layer of vertical and horizontal supports. Once all of our materials are put in and trimmed down, we put down our bagging tape, which is the yellow tape being put around the outside. We then press all of the hoses down to this bagging tape to ensure that we can pull a strong vacuum. This includes the inlet and outlet lines. The outlet lines are located at the bow and the stern of the boat. These vacuum lines are connected by yellow rope. After a little bit of cleanup, we put on our hose clamps. We use hose clamps on all of the inlet lines to make it easy to turn on separate inlets. The next two layers we put down are Teflon and another type of distribution media. It is then time to put the bag on the mold. We made sure to press the bag into the bagging tape so there are no holes. We then pull vacuum after placing, pressing all of the vacuum bag down to search for any holes that we may have missed. After everything is set up, we are ready to mix up epoxy and unclamp the middle inlet tube. We turn on other inlet tubes as epoxy has flown closer to them. When all of the epoxy has finished flowing, we clamp off all of the inlet tubes and leave the part under vacuum to cure. The next morning, we can come in and take off all of the bagging material and actually look at our part. To pull the actual part out of the mold, we used scrapers to push under and be able to pop out the mold. The mold is then ready to be wiped down and actually cut. You can cut the lip off of this very easily, but you must allow room for the lip to be cut off. After the lip is cut off and sanded down, you have a very nice hull that has a very nice finish to it. We then put in supports and a hole for our keel to go through our actual hull. We also put in shelves in the bottom of the boat to hold all of the electronics. We put two shelves in the stern of the boat and one shelf in the front of the boat. After all of the parts are put into the boat, we epoxy the deck down onto the boat and give it an awesome paint job. To make our lead ballast, we poured lead into a mold. We then took fairing filler and epoxy to shape up this mold into a more air, airfoil shape. To make the keel of our boat, we started with a chunk of aluminum. We then added foam to this aluminum and fiberglass the foam to the part. We then smoothed this down with fairing filler and epoxy, sanded it, and added a black coat of spray paint. 
And that is how we made the beautiful boat that we have now.